Hello and Happy New Year. I hope you all had a fantastic Christmas. This is my sewing vlog, The Seaside Sewist, and today is going to be a vlog all about the Christmas gifts that I made for Christmas 2023 and the patterns that I used. So, did you all have a good Christmas? Um, I had a very quiet Christmas. What happened was I got to my last day of work on the 23rd of December and was about to have three days off. And I started with a sore throat and I've literally had that cold virus thing that everybody else has had um, over the festive period. So today is the 4th of January and I'm just starting to feel okay but i've got the cough that i always get after i've had a cold so that's fun um i'm literally back from a day in york so i went to york with my good friend today who's a teacher but she's still off um on holiday now it's her 40th next week so we went to betty's for afternoon tea so we've had a lovely day of doing that so I'm back now. I've got a load of vlogs that I want to do, but I just haven't felt up to it. So here we go with this one. Now, I think last year I sort of started out thinking I'm not really going to make Christmas gifts this year. Um, and I started off thinking I'll make my, um, so the friend who I've just been to York with, I'll make her two little boys some pyjamas. I'll make my nieces and nephews some sweatshirts and then it kind of escalated and I did end up making quite a bit. So we will start with probably the most challenging uh, gift that I made that I did start quite early on. Um, I was inspired to make this bag by one of the ladies who attends my sewing socials. Um, and she made this bag literally in one of our sessions. It took me a lot longer. Um, but bag making, if anyone is getting into it, you will realise is a whole different ball game to dressmaking. It's a very precise, but it's just a lovely um, thing to get into. So I made the Country Cow Designs, and I can never pronounce this, Taylor hair, Taylor hair, three bag. So there's a three versions of it. There's one, obviously one, two, and three. And I made the third one. So it's a crossbody bag with an adjustable strap, and then it's a zipper top, fully lined with a zip inside, and then it's got like um, a side pocket that sort of stretches around half of it. Um. Country Cow Designs, I knew nothing about again until uh, Lorna at my sewing socials uh, introduced me to them. And they have some absolutely beautiful bags, bag patterns. There's some free patterns on there. The pattern that I used for this bag, which I'll put up here, was actually £2. The do offers where they do £2 offers. Um, and it's, it's just a lovely... Um, pattern so it actually has pattern pieces where there's a noodle head one that I'm just about to start which doesn't have pattern pieces it just tells you all the rectangle sizes that you need to cut out of what fabric so you have got, got to sort of draw them out and measure them yourself um but this one has got proper pattern pieces um so I absolutely loved making this loved it so i used a four leather that i got from bm fabrics and leeds they've got in their shop they've got a wide range of colors it was hard to choose a color i chose like a mid brown color um and you can buy it by the half meter i think half meter was something like 6.95 and then i used um a cork as an accent that I'd got from First for Fabrics and then I had some 
a fabric in my stash like a tropical jungle fabric with animals on and i use that for the lining um country cow designs is really good on their website so they have like the hardware that goes with that certain bag so i literally went to to that bag um and you could choose different colorways i also bought the webbing off there um and the zips so i knew i was getting exactly what i needed to get um so i'll put some pictures in of the finished bag um i got the lovely little elephant zipper pull from there as well because my mum loves elephants so it kind of kept in with the jungle theme and she absolutely loved it she actually bought me a bag for christmas and then when she opened her, she said, oh, you've bought me a bag as well. And I was like, you know, I've made it. And she just couldn't believe that I'd made it. So, yeah, I did. I did enjoy making that. Um, and I would recommend checking out Country Cow Designs because they're great. The instructions are great, but they also do um, YouTube tutorial on the bags as well, um, which is really good, really helpful. I did have to watch a couple of the, the steps just so i had it in my mind what what i was doing so that was the first thing that i made i then made some snoods so i was inspired to make these snoods by tamlin from sewn on the time i think a couple of years ago she made some snoods as gifts um using the pattern from apple green cottage so i will link all the websites and everything below of, of what I've used and, and things like that. Um, just really easy to to make. So I have made one. I made one as a tester for myself, which was in some fabric that I had left over from a project. So you use literally a strip of that. And then the strip inside is actually the same fabric, but just the, the lining of it. So you just do two strips, sew them together um, and then sew them up and then your snood kind of looks like that. It's just really warm and snuggly and I just think they're lovely. They're a lovely little gift and they're great for stash busting. So I made um, I'll put a picture in here. So all the fabric that I made them out of, I got from First for Fabrics. This fabric was from First for Fabrics as well. And I made two men's ones in like a retro cassette tape for my dad and my brother. And then I made another three ladies ones. One was for my auntie, one was for my mother-in-law and one was a secret centre for my one of my swing ladies. So, but they, I think they took about 10 minutes each one. So they're, they're really great for using up scraps, but they're a lovely gift. They're a really lovely gift. And so they went down really well too. The first things that I sewed up actually, because I gifted these to my friend that I met up with today. I gifted them to her in October half term. And it was two pairs of tartan jammers for her little boy. So one of her little boys is four and the other one is two. So I used the Poppy and Jazz Pomegranate Pyjamas pattern with a tartan that I bought from B&M Fabrics and I made these on one of my sewing days and had a little bit of a nightmare with them because, so I pattern matched which was fine, that wasn't the problem but because I was at my sewing day and I couldn't particularly concentrate that well. When I went, so I cut them all out in my sewing day. And then when I went to find the one of the front pieces, I'd cut the collar out of it. So I was lucky enough to have enough left for a, a, a small front panel. Oh, so there was panic. Um, but I think they turned out really well. And I had some little... Um, uh, pieces left and I made two little like coin bags for the chocolate coins so they got those as well so I'll put some pictures in here of those um what did I think of that pattern so there's a, cu a couple of shirt patterns that are the same as this 
pajama top pattern and the facing is only really anchored down i think by the buttons the buttonholes and you put a little tiny stitch in the, the shoulder so you kind of you turn the reveal of the collar over but then the facing sort of isn't attached so i would either like to top stitch it down or do something different with that so that was the first time that i'd used that pattern and i wasn't particularly a fan of of how that facing is constructed but i suppose it's the more you make something using sort of the same sort of look but different patterns you choose what you want to take from each one and i didn't particularly like the construction of the top of that but they looked great and um my friend loved them so that is the most important thing um the next thing i made was sweatshirts for my 13 year old niece eight-year-old nephew and five-year-old niece now for the 13 year old um i actually used the billy sweatshirt pattern um because she's sort of into that sort of wearing leggings and oversized hoodies and jumpers and things like that so i wanted to just make it like um i think did i do the smaller size i can't remember i think i did like tilly size two or something like that Whatever I did for her was the one that I cut out for myself, which I think might have even been Tilly size three. Anyway, if fitter. So I made that up and I used an alpine fleece and like a mauvey colour for her from First for Fabrics. Um, pattern great, went together really good and then i got some made by auntie tags from little rosy cheeks from the knitting and stitching show and i was going to put them in the in the back neck but i didn't in the end i folded them over the hem band um so i made her that one and then for the two younger ones i used the made by me sweatshirt pattern from etsy again i'll link all this down below um and again i used for the little boy i used um like a mid blue alpine fleece and for the youngest girl who's five she got like a bright pink alpine fleece so they're just lovely and cozy for them just to pull on to travel in the car or when they're out and about um so they they all went down really well and really quick and easy to to sew I didn't just sew them on the overlocker, I did use Mariflex thread to construct it all just to give the seams a bit more durability and then I used a rainbow overlocking thread to, to just finish the seams so I was really happy with those as well. Um, I decided then at this point that most people were going to get something handmade so for my youngest brother who still lives at home with my mum and dad. Um, he's sort of one for making his own meals, but then sort of sitting on the sofa with it. So he's trying to hold like a hot bowl of whatever he's eating. Um, and again, somebody at my um, sewing socials, Jane, she'd made bowl cozies one day. And so everybody wanted to make a bowl cozy. So I made him two sizes of bowl cozy. Um, I got some vague instructions online. You can buy patterns, but I literally um, did it where I did a, I did in two sizes. So I did a 12 inch by 12 inch square and a 10 inch by 10 inch square and literally followed the instructions. Um, if anybody does want me to do a quick tutorial on how to make a ball cozy, I can. But I used 100% cotton fabric 100% cotton wadding and 100% cotton thread which means that you can actually put the cozy in with the ball in the microwave to heat your food whether you want to do that or not I don't think I would but it's there and you can the machine washable as well so again they went down really well and I bought uh, like a, he's into gaming and computers and things 
so I bought like a gaming fabric from um, Celeron Etsy as well so they went down really well and one that came in quite late on what I think it was my November sewing social I was having a, a chat with the ladies there and I said oh my husband would probably love a dressing gown for Christmas but it's probably cheaper to buy one um and I reeled off all these things of why I wasn't going to make one and then they all guilt tripped me and was like if that's literally the only thing that he's asked for and you're not going to make it that's like pretty rubbish so I got home that night and ordered some toweling but it was like a mammoth thing so I ordered three and a half meters of t white toweling that had to be pre-washed the house was just covered in white bits of toweling so I had to pre-wash it when he was away with work for a couple of nights so I could get it dry then I cut it out then I took it to my sewing social and the carpet in the community centre was literally just covered in bits but it worked out amazing now I haven't got a picture of him wearing it but I do have a picture of it all nicely tied up um and he loves it he originally had a toweling one from next and he said the one that i've made him is so much more cozier so that was literally white toweling from minerva but they had about 20 different colors of toweling but he wanted a white one but it's really good quality it washes fantastically and he just absolutely loved it so i'll put a picture in here of that and then the only other things i made for Christmas were just some Christmas decorations to gift people so in January last year I did buy some little um the meant to go in cards but the little cross stitch kits um I think I've got one here actually so they're these little cross stitch kits like this um the £2.50 but in the sale last year they were £1.25 so I think about about eight thinking oh I've got all year to make these and I made three but I got little wooden hoops for them and I made three and gifted them to a few people and um, they went right down really well as well. So I'll put a picture in of those as well. Um, so I'd love to know how many presents did you um, make for Christmas? I totally didn't get overwhelmed. I thought I would. I thought I've took too much on here. Um, I'm going to get overwhelmed but I kind of like set time aside so I'd think right tonight when I get in from work I'm going to do this one and then on my sewing day I'm going to do this one and 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 it worked out really well and I think people really do appreciate the the time and the effort that that I've gone into that so god knows what I'll be making for people this year but I've got a little bit of a break now so yeah, I would be really interested to know what you thought of those items. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video because YouTube really appreciate that. And please subscribe if you don't so already or don't already. Please subscribe. So until next time, bye.